and we're playing Super Auto Pets test build. I actually feel like last night I, I recorded some Super Auto Pets because I was sick of slice and dice runs taking like 17 hours to complete. And I felt like I, I had a breakthrough in the in the test build. Not like I'm I'm guaranteed 10 piece every time, but I like I know some synergies. I know some combinations that work. Here's a combination that works for you right out of the gate. A unit with a reasonable amount of HP, and then one of these guys, and then we'll freeze a magpie. But I'd rather have a silkworm or silk moth, but we don't have a silk moth, so I'll just add one of these and I'll end my turn. Let me be like a, a, a foppish sack. I don't know what foppish means, but it feels like it's something a sack could be. If I read that in a Charles Dickens novel, I would be like, it makes perfect sense. Autoplay and fast me. I'll take my draw. I'll take my draw happily. You know what? I'm taking a level straight out of the gate. I'm going psycho mode with it. I'm taking a door head in. This is crazy. This team will not lose. And we'll get rid of the magpie for now. Ooh. This, this team is going to go... It's going to be out of control. Head-ass ants. I'm not flaming. I'm just saying. Have you acknowledged Trump's NFTs yet? I'm glad that he's finally... He could kickstart the next bull run. Bull run? Bull run. But I, before we get started, I have to know what blockchain is it on. What blockchain is he using for the, for the, the Trump 2024 NFTs? He's using Polygon? Trump on Polygon? What is the, the things, sentences you would never hear in 2015? Uh, I don't know. That's a joke about politics and NFTs and games journalism. What do you think's more hated right now? NFTs or AI art? I feel like if right now NFTs are less hated but more pitied. They were very hated when they were selling JPEGs for $70,000 plus. Now it's more sort of, it's, it's a pitiable thing. AI art is, is pogging up and people are like mad, which it's true. It makes sense. You think this will work? I don't see how it couldn't work. And you know what? I, give me a quick dog. He got the damn dog in him. People are mad at AI art. Oh, they're 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 mad at AI art, brother. You gotta you gotta read the the darn room. Hey, nice nice bulldog. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, no, I'm gonna lose. My whole squad's gonna die. No, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna lose. Okay, fair enough. Have you seen Chat AI GPT three? Yeah, about I would say approximately ten thousand times against my will. Check it out. I asked Chat. I asked Chat GPT three to make me uh, an Aaron Sorkin script. I don't even read the real Aaron Sorkin script. You think I'm gonna click on an image that is nine paragraphs of text and be like, "Wow, that is a reasonable facsimile to an Aaron Sorkin script." I wouldn't read that shit hard copy in front of my damn face. Go back to posting your Wordle streaks, okay? Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind you six health. <laughs> Hold up. Before attack, empty front sp I don't think I can make this work. I'm trying to make it work. I'm not reading that, but I but I did laugh. I did laugh. You know what? I want you to... Y yeah, yeah, this makes sense. This will work. I'm not going to explain it to you. I'm simply too lazy. Um, the ant will move to the front, die, give us some trumpets, which will then allow our fish to give more HP to the bulldog, which will also give it more attack. My brother, look at this emote. Is that is that Squeaks as Shrek? Is that what I'm looking at there?
It squeaks as a Koopa. Okay, it's pretty good. It's a classic. I wonder what was the last emote I really added? It's just so much easier to add better Twitch TV emotes than to like make your own emotes. Would love to know your thoughts on this. What do you think about that, Apollo? I was surprised, honestly, you have Keck W. Because a lot of my most used emotes... It's sad because you used to be like my Twitch emote ambassador. I used to be like, hey, Apollo, what do they mean when they say fish mole? And he'd be like, I don't know, it's just a fish. And I'd be like, peepo G. Now I go into his chat and I'm like, Sporkle, Clueless? Hey, Apollo, will you play dot, 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 space, pause, champ? But he is. He, I'm just typing emotes that he doesn't even have, but I, I keep using them. Meanwhile, the, the exact opposite of this side of the spectrum is Chibli, where I go into his chat and I just type normally, but like half of the normal words in the English dictionary are emotes now. So I'm, uh, at first I'm just typing a sentence, and then when I hit enter, it auto-populates with like nine different emojis in it, like I'm 75 years old, or I'm, I'm tweeting like Cher. Actually, a Jay, I know you're here. It happens in your chat all the time. I type, oh no, it, it, it's Chibli's chat when I type what. And then I'm like, what was that? And then it sends, uh, it's like a yellow M&M holding his head going, what? And then it just says, was that? Like, it, it's so embarrassing every time. I think that lettuce is like the worst food. Not in real life. But like in game, I never seem to have more than one food, more than one animal at the tier that the lettuce is, or that the shop is, I should say. It's pretty bad IRL, dude. I'm like extremely pro lettuce. I had a, I had a, a rice and greens bowl for lunch yesterday, and then I had a damn salad for dinner. I'm like I'm fully spinached up right now. Now, let me tell you, I don't know. I, I simply think that the Osprey is bad. Even though there's three of them in the shop here, I, I hate them. Because when you level it up to level two, it summons two Groundhogs, which guarantees you like more trumpets, but who cares? You know what? We could buff it with the Opossum. Let's give it a chance, I guess. It'll allow us to summon... A, a, a slightly better dog, but still not a very good one. <laughs> we, we already got a damn dog. A, spinach is not lettuce. What, what, is Dwight Schrute in the chat? Dwight Schrute in the chat, please. You said a crow was a jackdaw, but it's not. Listen, it, it's not a big deal. Oh, I gotta... You, you should not be at the back. Spinach is lettuce. It's just like... That's like saying, uh, like, sparkling water and seltzer are two different things. Spinach, spinach, arugula, radicchio, lettuce. They're, they're all lettuces. Romaine. Why are you trying to complicate your life? You can go. No, you, well, no, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't, because you got to be not in first. Quinoa and rice are the same. Yeah, except rice tastes good, and quinoa is uh, tastes bad and is extremely messy. It gets everywhere. It's like eating sand. You'll be, like, walking around your kitchen a month after you cooked quinoa, and you'll be like, what did I just step on? It's quinoa. It's like how when you, you come back from the beach... You like wash your feet and then you put your feet into your shoes. They're sandy for the next six months. You want a real bad spinach take? I'll give you a real bad spinach take. I don't even like spinach for the most part. Like I would rather take iceberg lettuce over spinach any day of the week. A lot of people aren't ready for that one though. I think this slug kind of goes off, honestly. It also allows us Two, we could buy a lettuce if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Activate buy ability, not that interested. I'm going to buy an apple. No, it's crazy. Spinach is good for you. I mean, I eat it. I don't, I don't have anything against spinach. 
I just get annoyed when people are like, oh, like, I remember when I was a kid and I ate iceberg lettuce, then I graduated to spinach. It's like, it's okay, like, eating spinach doesn't have to be your whole personality. It could just be, like, one small part of it. Hold on, I'm still pogging. I do the, I, I, of course I prefer romaine lettuce to iceberg lettuce. I have taste buds, but still. I think we've, we've entered the part of the game where we need to get some pivoting going here. So like Surgeon Fish has not gotten the job done, although we are in five wins. Let's get the Poison Dart Frog to help us out here. And then I love, if I could just get an onion on you, which was the style at the time. Onion is in the next tier, okay. Might as well. Actually, this would fit perfectly on the squad too. Maybe we wait around and then pivot to that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buff this door head in. It's doing good stuff. So I think we have a psycho frog build. So we'll get like three triggers on the frog from the slug dying, then the door head ant will give us a fourth, and then if we can get the frog to get an onion so when it's at the front it moves to the back, it could get another th two from the osprey. Now we're talking, dude. I, I will say that the osprey at the back is doing nothing, but you'll forgive me for not worrying about it right now because we keep winning. Chicken Caesar with bacon or chef salad, probably my favorite. I'm telling, I don't think there's a food for me, for me, for me personally. I don't think there's a food on the planet that beats chicken Caesar salad. There's not a food on the planet that beats chicken and banana. Pizza? I would, I, it would be close. Let me put it that way. When we order pizza, one of the only reasons I don't just get a chicken Caesar salad from the pizzeria is because of the fact that there won't be leftovers. When I get pizza, I know that I've got like a dinner and I got a lunch the next day and maybe I got like a midnight snack. Hey, Fender Telly, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Tacos? Tacos would be the closest one so far. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're gone. You gotta go at some point, too. You know what? At this point, you could have... Oh, no, I want you to have an onion. Yeah, forget the banana. I want you to have an onion. No avocado. You give one random friend some stats. I think the bulldog's gone. So I think, we, I, I think we should take advantage of limited stats as they lay. Onion on you is going to go insano mode. And then we need to find... This is exactly the right unit to have on the squad right now. This is actually... I... Listen, you want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. But I'm telling you, I think that this team could do some incredible work. Latkes? I would love to eat more latkes. I mean, it's tough. It, like, the favorite food discourse is always tricky, you know? This is... They're gonna create an insane dog here. I feel weird saying this, but it's... Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's more apt to say that I don't necessarily think that chicken Caesar salad is my favorite food just via its taste. But I think that it might be my favorite food... My, my favorite meal, let's say. That didn't go well. Because you... you how do Because you ended up being at the back. We don't really want you to be at the back. Let's... Do, Frog does three damage to the highest health enemy. It would be nice if you leveled. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think it's strictly I don't think it's strictly necessary. I don't think any of these are necessary. Not necessary. Chocolate is very necessary. Okay, let's try it. I was thinking about a banana on the door head ant. Because we would get an extra trigger. But then I was like, 
I mean, it's better than a cherry, but is it better than what we could do with three gold? Well, yes, if we just spend our gold re-rolling. Okay, very similar build here. And yet, hold on. Who's got the most health? You did. You had the most health? I feel like I'm screwing up your order something fierce here. And I am living for it. Ten times I understood the assignment. Okay, you're, you're not going to kill me. I'm going to kill you. Or at least I'm going I'm to damage you quite profusely. Then you're going to move back. We're not going to get any triggers for a minute. Then you're going to move back. You're going to get another trigger. It, it seems like it's, it's almost makeable. Please. Um, oh! <laughs> I knew it. Dude, I don't think I've ever had... <sighs> Listen, okay? The way you actually win is by taking a bird of paradise. It's, it's on every winning team. As tempting as I am to get the, the frog to go higher... You, you, especially with three life left, we kind of have to commit to a bird here. So I feel like... The Osprey is actually not giving us a benefit. Let me explain why. I know it looks like it's gonna. But... One death trigger. One death trigger. One death trigger. Doorhead ant moves up. One death trigger. Then you move to the back. Which leaves you, the Osprey, here. So we don't actually get any value out of the Osprey except stats. So, I think that we have to go. We could sell the goat too. There's a lot of temptations here. It does give you some trumpets, but may maybe the trumpets are secondary to like our stat scaling overall now. In which case, we would love to just, we would sell, sell, buy, buy, sell, buy. Buy, roll. I actually love the idea of you possibly swallowing up something in the shop. It's not going to come to pass like straight away, but still. You know what? I instead of that, though, it might sound a little crazy. Let's just buy a penguin. You know, we get a little stat out of it anyway. And then, like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I, I really can't stress enough that I feel like the in my oh this osprey is gonna eat me alive but the the bird of paradise is like incredibly important it might be the best unit in the pack and I, I don't say that lightly probably gonna get destroyed here oh you didn't have the most stage we're close though But then this is where it starts to tick up. Lovely. Lovely. You can obviously go, which would mean we could do like a, a sell and then a buy and then a sell. And we'll just pop you down here for a, a little extra gas. Try to make the, the most efficient use of our gold possible. That's really bad. I don't know what moved us, but whatever whatever did it, it, it blew up my whole squad. My safety is not guaranteed. Oh, they had an eggplant. Okay. Level me. I've still got some hope that this could that this could get us there. What do you need? You need one gold. We don't see anything we like, so just reroll and take it. There's no real space for the oyster, but we think about it. I, I would sell, like, oh, with, okay, two oysters, three oysters? More? Level three Maca, dude. Chill. They level, this is the ultimate team. Level three macaque, uh, bear, trumpet build. Like th this, this team has every synergy. 
that's that's horrendous news for us. On the bright side, look at those stats. On the downside, don't look at those stats. Okay. It's the most toxic team I've ever seen. But you know what? Seven wins. It's not the it's not the end of the world. We also claimed the boudoir cap. I have an honest question for people that were alive in the 1910s. Were people really wearing a stocking cap to bed? Why would you wear a hat to bed way back in the day? Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm gonna blow my nose while we're here too. I guess that's true, it was colder back in the day, but only like two degrees. I guess they didn't have all the heating amenities that we have these days too, that's fair enough. But it's weird to me that people are like, oh, like wearing a hat to bed is okay, but wearing socks to bed is like where I draw the line. Whereas for me, I'm like, dude. I'm not saying I would I would be committed to doing either, but I, I think both of them are a little scuffed. If anything, I'll be an Elden nut. Uh, if anything, I don't sleep with socks, but there have been times where like I've fallen asleep with socks on, and when I wake up, I'm not like, ugh, I can't believe I fell asleep with my socks on. I'm like, dude, my feet are nice and toasty. I really thought we were winning that one. This is the dream play. And then a level. Uh, oh, did 10 different levels, sure. I'll keep the whole thing frozen. Keep their heads ringing. It can be cold out there. Many people are saying it. That's how you get crusty socks. People need to learn how to let the memes like breathe for themselves. The crusty socks meme, the story is way funnier that the socks that I brought back from my trip were crusty because of the fact that I wore that shit for like 24 hours, went to bed, woke up three hours later, and then had to take uh, 18 hours of flights to get home. My feet were sweating. They, I wore the socks for so long that they sweated like dried, solidified, re-sweated. Like I was making like a tiramisu. There were like 10 different layers of like sweat that then dried. People were like, he came in the socks. The, the, the mid-cell, he, he came in his socks. And then the idiots and geniuses, I'm in one of those camps. It's funny because his socks were gross. In the middle, the mid-cell, he probably f fucking jerked off in his socks. Yeah, I jerked off into my socks on an airplane bathroom. Who do you think I am? You? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, level me up again. Let's try a meerkat. I've never seen it uh, work. That doesn't mean it can't work. It's kind of like a, a meerkat is kind of like nature's bird of paradise. You know what my favorite uh, safety message is? Is when you're on the airplane, uh, the toilet says, please do not flush while you're sitting down on the toilet. <laughs> please stand up to flush. Which you just, I'm sure it's never happened, but it just conjures the image in your head of like someone being on the toilet and flushing and then getting sucked out the toilet and going, ah! My balls, my balls. I don't really like a flea that much, honestly. I don't think it's bad, but it's not it's not my tempo, let's say. I'd love to level up a mongoose though. He's the snake to my mongoose. Or the mongoose to my snake. I'm not good with the animals.
I'm just gonna say it. I think I kind of like possums. Not like in the game, but like IRL. Wait, you have to spend 12 gold every shop? Is the bird of paradise like holds its charge? The mongoose, I, I assumed it would hold its charge and it was just worse because of the fact that you have to spend way more gold. I didn't realize you have to... It's not a mongoose, sorry, a meerkat. I didn't realize that it would... You'd have to spend 12 gold, which I like actually can't even do. Anyway. Like the, the Vancouver Aquarium used to have a, a mongoose. They still have it somewhere, I'm sure. I don't know where, but... Uh, that was, like, my favorite thing when I, when I took my daughter to the aquarium. You know, at some point you see an animal and you're like... You see a turtle and you're like, well, cool turtle. Then you see, uh, you know, a shark and you're like, cool shark. Every time I saw the possum, he was sleeping. And I was like, oh, dude, he's just like me. That's not the right unit to buff, just for the record. Okay, well, I'm going to level you, and I don't know why. Yeah, I, I really don't. I, I don't. I simply don't know why. But maybe we'll get something working here. I think I like animals that don't like to be at the zoo. Now, don't slander me here. The other star of the show in the Vancouver Aquarium is the... Uh, the sea otters. And they are, they're cute as a button. There's no doubt about that. But for the most part, when you like see an animal and they're preening in front of the glass, I'm like, I'm not really that into it. That's why I love the gorillas, man. When we went to the San Diego Zoo, they literally just ignored you. And then the trainer was like, you guys want some cabbages? And then they went out into the center of like their little encampment and did a squat. And then they threw a, a cabbage at the gorilla and he just went, he, he didn't even look at the audience. And why should he? We're there for him, not the other way around. Okay, you know what? The time is right. Let's, let's try to get this dude pumping a little bit. I would say that we need to make some space. I would say this means you could go. I would roll. It's tempting to sea turtle this one, but no, we need the we need the extra space. I'm remembering now. Let's try to get like a gold build going here. Like we can have an opossum come out and it gets sold. You buff the black neck still, you piece of crap. Weasel. Hey, you got weasels on your face. That's when I knew it was true love. We ate together, we bathed together. We even shared the same piece of mint flavored dental floss. The world was our burrito. I can't get the silk moth behind the gorilla, I'm realizing. And that's okay. That's, I'll live with that. Nice buff by the, ooh, tier fours, tier fours incoming. I'd rather have some avocados, honestly. You didn't push me. You're not that guy, pal. Hold on, I'm gonna feast. Oh, baby. I'm still, I'm feasting. I'm feasting. I'm drawing. Are avocados still bugged? I confirmed yesterday via independent research, they are no longer bugged. I'm happy to report they're no longer bugged. I, I ran some econ builds where I was getting like uh, actually like 22 gold per turn. And I had a level three bird of paradise and a level two bird of paradise. Ooh, can you imagine? Okay, I think we have to embrace this for sure. Are you going to come out with six or are you going to come out with three? You're going to come out with three. That's not great. We need to run half squatted. That's true. You need to spend three gold. I would rather just buy a food. That's the perfect food for us to purchase. Oh, baby. 
Dude, you got weasels on your face. Look at this. Elden Nuts, it's a great name. Do you trim your eyebrows? Uh, I don't, but my wife does. And honestly, I'm very like for it. Even though she just does like a little snip, 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 it feels different. Like it, it feels better. Like when I feel my eyebrows now, they're like mid-length. After she trims it, I feel like, you know, like a Pomeranian that just got groomed. 13 gold. Like I've, I'm proud of myself. I want to buy sell, but like I, I want to, I want the buy sell to have some merit. I'm not going magpies here. That's all. That's just ridiculous. It's insulting to even suggest it. We can give, we could give the gorilla a banana. I suppose there's something to to like there. We're probably just gonna buy you. I know you might be upset, but we have to place the Manta on top unless we're going to run two Mantas, which we're not going to do because I'm not getting rid of my 1117 Weasel, which also generates gold for me. I lived. Gorilla's going to get rid of its banana. There's where you're wrong, kiddo. Look at this. I, I know you're like, no, no, normally it would, it would. Yeah, but this time it didn't, so shut up. Plus, what do I care? I don't walk into a store, buy a banana, and go, what the heck? I paid for one banana, I got one banana. I want two bananas. I paid one banana's price, I received one banana's value. I'll pay you Tuesday for an hamburger today, I will. You should level as well, why not? Who says no? No, no buy sells? We're looking for, for clams? What are you on? So we spent seven gold already. Ten gold? I, I, I hate to say, I might just pop an apple out here. Crispin Glover be like, I paint my life. That's you have to do the required reading for that one. You gotta you gotta see Guillermo del Toro's uh at the Mountains of Madness, I mean, um, the Cabinet of Curiosities. One of those other alliterative names. Jenkins, I don't think of what I paint. I paint what I see. Level three, Manta? My Manta Ray is all right. Weasel me? I'm going straight back into the apple, man. Do kids these days know about Leroy? I know, I know a few Leroy's. I know Bad Bad Leroy Brown, and of course the the most obvious one of all, Leroy Jenkins. You think they would ever add viral videos into the Library of Congress? Like there must have been some times when like. When movies first came out, people were like, do not add these to the Library of Congress. They're not real art like books are, okay? Then we finally started getting movies that were art, and we started respecting the classics. There's no doubt that eventually they're going to add, like, Charlie bit my finger to the Library of Congress, right? Leroy Jenkins, Badger Badger Mushroom Mushroom, Chocolate Rain, Star Wars Kid... Grape Lady Stomp. Hottest cat meme videos of 2022, part 70. 17 gold. That's a lot. I forgot about Numa Numa. Sorry. You got to get a bird of paradise out here. I don't think we sell anything to make it happen, though. I guess you could sell your mongoose to make it happen. Or your meerkat. Sorry. How close are you to popping off? Not close. Buy Bird of Paradise. Sell Meerkat. We should have we should have done buy Bird of Paradise. Sell Meerkat, buy Bird of Paradise, buy Oyster, sell Oyster, but whatever. We still got 16 gold. I'm rolling. Yes, please. 
I mean, this is an unstoppable run. Even if, I, I don't even care if we're rolling. It's worth it. This, it just gets better, man. Oh, I forgot about the avocado. I should be buying avocados too. I do it honestly. I, people are saying use tomato. I really looked down on tomato. And then I used it in a couple runs yesterday. And I was like, it's so satisfying when you get to the part of the game where everybody's running a bear to just kill the bear in like two seconds. It feels amazing. Big Yellow Taxi by Counting Crows has to be their worst song. So Jay, I don't know where this came from. But you will be happy to know that I... That's a great flying fish, man. You'll be happy to know I, I couldn't agree more. I hate, uh, I hate covers to begin with most of the time. Because I, I always find that there's like... The most common cover reason is that people go, Oh, that song's been out long enough that we could just redo it for modern audiences and change nothing. It'd just be like... a. Hey, you know, that song, Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell, great song, but it's from the 70s. It's got all those clicks and hisses in the track. What if we had Adam DeRitz and Vanessa Carlton just run one back without changing? Just, just make it a little bit worse and then put it on alt-rock radio. Anyway, sorry. A good cover is Peter Pumpkinhead. Yeah, I couldn't agree. Jay, we're, we're speaking the same language here. Peter Pumpkinhead, The Ballad of Peter Pumpkinhead by XTC. A, a good song, a great song, I would say. But then when the Crash Test Dummies do it, they put their own uh, spin on it. They add a little like, uh, the, I mean, and just the lead singer just to begin with going, Brood up pumpkin head, tears around. Plus there was a good reason for it. The reason was that they needed something for the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack. Anyway, I'm not, I, I'm not saying all covers are horrible. Most covers are bad in my opinion. When they transform it, like, like Johnny Cash transformed Hurt. It's not my favorite song, but it's a cover that has like validity, in my opinion. But then there's like Weezer covering Africa, which I, I just is like, the, it's music bat chest to me. It's like, I, I know this, I recognize this song, and now it's by a band that I like too. That was a meme? That went to like number one. Number one on my list of songs never to listen to ever again. Ever. Anyway. Hold on. I think you should... Maybe we'll just pump you up on this one. Just pump you up on there. You just paid out again? Holy cow. He's paying out like crazy. I'll take a pretzel. We got we got all over tier fours. We do have all over tier fours. Let's give you a, the macaque a little buff. I'm up here buffing my macaque. So you love the behind blue eyes Limp Biscuit cover, right? I like the original. I don't like when the Who covered it. What the hell? It's the fastest 50-50 dog I've ever seen in my life. I just got shit on. That was unbelievable. It's definitely, let's start here. Go here. Karma for your shit music take? Bro, you're really gonna stand up here and like go to bat for Weezer's cover of Africa and be like, that gives me, you, you feel like you have the moral high ground in this position? That's just madness. These are not controversial takes. I'll pretzel, pretzel me any day of the week, man. Even more? Are we popping another one off? We're not popping another one off. We're not. Oh, we, we are popping another one off. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. That was a great round. We got a lot of stats. What do you think is the most underrated single of all time? Like a song you hear on maybe like classic rock radio, 
that people think is kind of mid, but actually it's like a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna start, and we can. Uh, this is not necessarily my my final opinion, but we'll start the conversation here. What about she sells sanctuary by the cult? Bing, 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 bing. You know that one? That's a great song. And I could not name a second song by the cult, but that one goes goes out of control. That go that one goes crazy. Spin Doctor's Two Princes? I mean, I just... I, I don't dislike the song. I sing along when it comes on. I'm just saying, it's more like... Uh, it's a bit of a joke. It's probably one of my favorite rap songs. But it is a, it's a bit of a joke. Marcy's Playground, Sex and Candy. I don't want to make any enemies, Jay. I, I kind of consider that a meme song as well. But as long as we're talking about covers that have no reason to exist, Maroon 5 did do a cover of Sex and Candy, which, again, I just, uh, just why? I would say, sure, I believe in a thing called Love by the Darkness. I, w I would say that that could be up there as, like, if you were doing like a top 20 radio songs of the 2000s and that's not on there, I don't take your opinion seriously. This is over. We, we've already won. What's up with the Koopas, man? Holy. Oh, it's the Dan raid. It's the Dan Koopa raid. Hello, Daniel. Oh, you you don't like super auto pets? What? You don't like uh, having 14... This is 40% more gold than you normally get on a turn, but I've constructed my entire run to give us as much gold as possible. And then you buff the whole squad thusly? You're not pogging up over this? Are you not, are you not human? Are you dancer or whatever? I don't want a pretzel if we can get some chocolate. I don't think I want a pretzel at all. I think everyone's getting too... Oh, you can pretzel you, I suppose. It is by you, I suppose. Ooh, avocado next turn. Please bring me closer to dog. I'm... I looked down on Nine Inch Nails for a long time, and I'm not talking about my toenails. I think I just had, you know, I, I skipped the industrial music phase of, of, of growing up. Uh, I was the kind of guy who watched The Matrix, I didn't listen to it. And then I was straight up started reading Pitchfork. So I just, like, took all of my opinions from them in the mid-2000s. Now I'm getting introduced to all sorts of garbage music on the Peloton. I am here to tell you, Nine Inch Nails, not garbage music. I, I put on uh, Closer in the car stereo the other day. I was in traffic and I needed to conjure up a little testosterone to, to start cutting people off. Oh, dude, and uh, first off, easiest 10 piece of my life. Don't even get me started. I saw somebody in chat say, everybody loves Today by the Smashing Pumpkins. Everybody loves 1979. Almost nobody talks about Cherub Rock. I'm with you. I think Cherub Rock, it might be one of the, the best songs of the 90s. You know, anyway, great song. Most underrated song of the 90s, though, Deluxe by Lush, in my personal opinion. Take it or leave it. It counts because there's a, it's the only shoegaze song that ever got a music video, as far as I know. I don't know how it played on the radio. I think it's about taking drugs and getting your ass ate, but it's an amazing song, either because of or in spite of that. There's no way My Bloody Valentine had some music videos, right? What would they even show? Like, at least Lush is like, you know, dung dung dun tick tick dum tick tick dum tick tick What is My Bloody Valentine gonna show? Them just staring at the floor, playing with their backs to the crowd, uh, playing their guitar into a microphone that then goes into an amp that goes into a mic uh, mother, another microphone that then goes into another amp. It's 
Sorry, I, I said about 12 words wrong in this sentence, but... Okay, we take it. We take it. Ah, oh, yes, the Macarena. My favorite shoegaze song. Lush! Lush! By Deluxe? We'll be the Lush pretenders. That's what I've always... I've always said that uh, My Bloody Valentine are just... I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that Lush is just My Bloody Valentine for people who like hooks? I don't know. It's more of a Chibli conversation. Should be set up thusly. How do you feel about Big Empty by Stone Temple Pilots? Is that the one that goes, Time to take her home. Her dizzy head is combo shampoo. I like that song. That's that's part of Sam Yo's 30-minute uh, uh, 90s grunge ride. And it's it's one of the best parts. Thoughts on my Sharona? I mean, we now we're just we're we're going through bits we've we've said a hundred times before. Great, one of the greatest underappreciated guitar, two of the greatest underappreciated guitar solos of all time. What's the best grunge song? Now that's a tough question. My personal take right now, it, it probably changes every six months. My 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 pick for number one best grunge song is. Rooster by Alice in Chains. But I think that there's, there's a ton of different possible answers. If, we, if, if I had to say best Pearl Jam song, I'd probably go Alive. If we had to say best Nirvana song, I don't know, man, that's tough. Maybe like, uh, for me, it might be like Lithium. Better Man is not the best Pearl Jams. That's not, that's when Pearl Jam began. They eschewed the aesthetic of grunge and then just became a rock band, which is also fine. I also don't like the Pearl Jam song. What is it? Elderly Lady Behind the Counter of an Old Flower Shop. I just came to say hello. I, I, Maybe it's an L take. You can call it an L take if you want. I'm in the even flow. I'm in the Jeremy. I'm into alive. I'm in the I'm in the black. But then you got it. First off, I think that either Black Hole Sun or uh, Super Unknown for Soundgarden could be in the conversation as well. Do you vibe with Math Rock? Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> so somebody wasn't here for the slint phase which is still ongoing and has been for 12 years. Anyway, we got to we got to play some damn games here. Just give me a second. We don't need the, you to hit level 3. 6 gold. That's that's pain for me, but you know what? This no, that doesn't do anything. What are you thinking? You know how we It's fine. Whatever. Do what you got to. Got some playlists? I do not. I do not. You ever watch Glycerin by Bush at Woodstock 99? I, w I, I wish, I wish God what I would have given to be at that uh, concert slash like pseudo prison riot. I don't really know what, what was going on at Woodstock 99, but none of it was good, I think. But I, don't, I, I know almost no Bush. I know speed kills. That's That's about it. I know Machine Head. That, yes, I also know Machine Head. I don't know what I'm doing on this run, though. Hello, Josh, by the way. Did I already say that? Hello, Josh. Even if I did say it, you know what? I'm saying it again. I'm, I'm taking my level and realizing I should have taken a lizard with us as well. This turtle, can it can do something. It can get a little sneaky with it. When was your last Radiohead phase? Okay, don't be... I, think, I like Radiohead. 
My last ra quote unquote Radiohead phase would have been rated the release of In Rainbows. Holy cow, you see this doll? Best Flight of the Concord song? This is getting, it's a little too rapid fire for my taste right now. Best Flight of the Concord song? I don't know, man. They're, they're, they're all, humor and music is, it, it ages badly because once you know all the jokes, it's got to rely just on the music. I think that Flight of the Concords is one of the best amongst them, but still. I have to think, okay? We know that we, maybe we just get nothing out. Or maybe we get, so you know what? Okay, check this out, all right? Sell the opossum. It's going to buff. It's going to buff you. It's going to buff the osprey. Hey! Then you go to the freaking front. You get sold, okay? So watch this. Here's, here's the, the yoga flow, okay? You die. We're going we're gonna to put a door head ant here. You die. You summon a 2-1 Groundhog, which will actually become a 2-7 Groundhog. You get a buff from the friend that had fainting. Then this thing's going to faint. You're going to get another buff. Then the doorhead ant's going to move up to the front. And then it's going to die, and it's going to give the muskox another buff. And then combined with the Silk Moth, it's going to be unbeatable. Now we're on, we're on level 3. Rare opportunity to, to get valuable lettuce. We don't need a, a free Shavaka, do? I do kind of like the idea of a lizard and a turtle, but I, I think that this squad gets it done right now. Yeah, then a banana on the door head, Ant, and we get another trigger. Oh no, my HP. Oh no, it's the cops. Okay, they're gonna make a pretty big dog, but I don't think it's gonna be that big. It's not gonna be as big as, as our yak could get. Oh no, but our yak has been rendered ill. Whatever. The Lush Pretenders own you. Best Sesame Street feature. Um, what's the guy's name? Friends with the Penguin by uh, Billy... Only two names come to mind. Billy Mitchell and, and Billy Graham. Neither one of them are, are the Billies in question here. It's not Billy Clinton... It's not Billy Elish. Billy Porter! Thank you, thank you. It's not Billy Crudup, although that could go pretty hard too. We actually don't want you to level. I want to see a banana. I want to see a banana. I want my banana. I want my board. I want my board. Oh, that's pretty good too, though. Billy Joe Armstrong was the voice of somebody in Princess Mon Mononoke? That can't possibly be true. Hey, did Kristen Bell sing her own songs in Frozen? Because if so, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Veronica Mars? More like Veronica Bars. Holy cow. She's got quite the voice. I mean, it's hard to hold a candle to uh, Edina Menzel, don't get me wrong, but still... I promise I wasn't just doing that joke to say Veronica Bars. That part just came to me as I was trying to find a way to like wrap it up. I was actually just impressed with their performance. The wickedly <laughs> this is so funny. I know it's it's like the oldest reference in the world now, but the wickedly talented Adele Dazim. What was he thinking, man? What were they thinking? For the first time in forever would have been the featured Oscar song in any movie that didn't have Let It Go. Honestly, my, my personal take, I if we're ranking the songs from Frozen 1, I wouldn't have let it go at number one. Part of that is probably unfairly because I've heard it so much. It's been so overexposed. But I, can I tell you, I don't like for, uh, for the first time in forever as much as some people just because I find it very cheesy when they do the part where uh, Edina Menzel is like, tell the guards to open up. 
and then they have like a, a half bar rest. And then you know she's summoning the energy to go, the gates. I, I hate that cheesy little half bar rest in there. I, I like, uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, don't get me wrong, but uh, I like love as an open door for sure. I love the first song where they go, ah, we come from the land of the ice and snow and the gun 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 and I'm not saying Frozen 1 is like, it's top tier cinema. I wouldn't go that far. But I would say that, that it's, a, it's a better, uh, it's a, above average Disney animated feature with a, a order of magnitude above average soundtrack. The songs go insanely hard. Okay, it's time for the yak to go sicko mode. Uh, their Osprey is the strongest unit I've ever seen at this phase of the game. I'm, I'm roasted. Tangle's got some bops. I know Jay's a big, he's a big Tangle head. I see the light. When will my life begin? I'm a big believer in, uh, I have a, I've got a dream. Thor would like to quit and be a poet. Gunto does interior design. Wolf is into mine until his cupcakes are sublime. Bruiser knits, killer sews, Sven does killer puppet shows. And Vladimir collects ceramic unicorns. Anyway. This run's not looking so good. What are you talking? We've only lost one HP. Just relax yourself. We sell the Silk Moth. We, we punch uh, up an emu here real quick. What's the turtle doing is the question I'm asking myself right now. And I think it's a viable question. What do you think would happen? What, what, what do you think would happen if we did this? Is there something to this? Hold up. Let him cook. Slug, I should be respecting the slug more than the Osprey. They, uh, this is gonna be a very strong dog. I'm displeased by this. I'm still displeased. It's gonna be like a 15 HP dog. No, it's gonna. What? No, I'm gonna. Dude, the lush pretenders still own you. Look at this, 32 HP yak. Emu doesn't do anything. You gotta give it a damn second, okay? Start of turn. Spend one gold to activate a buy ability, dude. I don't want it. You got some. You're gonna be eating good on YouTube. I had an economy build that used a level three catfish, maybe a level two catfish, but then it allowed us to, at the start of your turn, I would go from 10 gold to nine gold, and then it would use the buy ability of a blue, a blue ringed octopus that was level three. So it would give every turn, I would spend one gold to give all of my units three, three. Can you believe this? This thing is not ass. It just needs to have like the exact perfect setup. Like even right now, we could get it to work a little bit. We could, we could have it work with a penguin and then we'd spend one gold getting two attack and one health every turn. You know what? Just because you're such a hater, I'm going to do it. Get the emu out of here for now. Let's, let's, have, some, let's, let's have some fun. Oh, <laughs> and what fun it is. I hate fun. It disappoints me. They got a lot of cherries on this team. Now all they need is a is a chicka cola and they've got the they've got the whole they've got Savage Garden's favorite recipe. Minus two, minus two. I know, I know. 
Hold on. I'm still I'm still hip. I'm not hip, I'm dead. I don't even get the reference. You know, every time I get you in my place, I wanna take you away to a place where we can play all day. And we can drink and we can drink and we can eat and we can drink and we can drink, and we can drink a chicken cherry cola. <laughs> you know, you don't know that one? <laughs> that old chestnut? You don't know that? Dude, that was actually like a relatively good impression, which is the scary part. And then he goes, ooh, I want you, I don't know if I... That's a Joe. They use that song in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yet another reason to disrespect anime. It's, it's garbage. You really fucked up the lyrics? Yeah, it's because I'm like a 34-year-old man. I don't know the lyrics to I Want You by Savage Garden. It, nobody knows the lyrics to I Want You by Savage Garden unless they watch all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Everybody that was alive when it came out just knows the Chicka Cherry Cola part. Okay, this is where it all comes together. It's still coming together. Let him cook. It's chicky cherry cola, by the way. Bro, being on JoJo, definitely the worst thing that's ever happened to Savage Garden. Used to make Savage Garden references in 2013, 2014, 2015. People would be like, oh, I remember that band. Now people are like, oh, you got the lyrics slightly wrong. Shut the fuck up. It's Savage Garden. They're pure ass. We have respect for them within the time period where they, can, they were contemporaneous. And now we're like moving past it. I'm starting to think this penguin's not going to do it for us, man. You know what we can do? Sell the Osprey. Roll penguin at the front. Throw a blue ringed octopus out here instead. Level two catfish. You'll rip the level three. Please let me live. Please let me live here. This will go insane. Yeah, you guys, are you getting Sound Garden and Savage Garden confused? You think they went from Spoon Man to Chicky Cherry Cola? We have lost, by the way. <laughs> but if the run had worked, imagine. Imagine. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm, we're, we're gonna keep playing Sap. I'm just gonna walk away for three seconds to blow my nose. See you in a second. <laughs> 